Here are three untapped startup ideas with huge potential that no one's talking about. Ideas backed by hard science. I will explain what these startup ideas are, why it works and how to monetize. Then I will go through my process of finding even more startup ideas so you can too. I'm Mike and I have been finding trends and outliers for over 20 years for three letter intelligence agencies and in cybersecurity positions. And over the years, I have analyzed tens of millions of data points daily to uncover everything from nation state hackers and hidden attack patterns to finding outliers and trends. I've seen firsthand how to find high value outliers buried in massive data sets. Now I'm bringing that same expertise to the world of startup ideas and entrepreneurship. I analyze over 4,000 new research studies daily to find startup ready ideas backed by real science before anyone else does. So why do this through research studies instead of relying on the usual sources? Well, by the time something becomes a trend online, it's usually too late to jump in and build something original. The real opportunities are buried in fresh studies, in early breakthroughs that haven't hit the mainstream yet. I'm scanning for those high potential ideas that most people miss. What I'm looking for are outliers, ideas that stand out backed by real data and showing clear signs of startup potential. And once you know where to look, you can find some incredibly unique opportunities hiding in plain sight. Today, I picked a couple of ideas that stood out in the data and I'll walk you through why they caught my attention. And these ideas aren't just concepts, they're opportunities ready for action. Okay, so here we are. Every day we index about 4,000 new studies and they're all being scored on a whole list of various ratings. And this is how I find my new startup ideas. Let's, uh, let's pick a few scores to filter on. So we want startup readiness, breakthrough, and let's say innovation. And uh, this is scored from one to hundred. So let's just go with like 80 innovation, 80 breakthrough and 80 startup readiness and see how many we get back. So we got way too many, like 30,000 results. Okay, we need to narrow this down way more. So let's go with like 88, let's see where we end up. Okay, so we got 54 studies that are suitable for startup ideas. Um, and let's go through and actually, we want to look at breakthrough, market share threat, innovation, startup readiness and time to market. I think these are pretty good scores to look at. And let's actually filter or let's actually sort on startup readiness. Okay, so basically this is the study is about a new computer program called Pandurm, which helps doctors find and treat skin diseases better. It uses a lot of pictures from different sources to learn how to recognize different skin problems like skin cancer. So this is a pretty cool one actually. This is a really interesting study. If you want to read more about it, we can actually go and open this up. So here we have the full study. It's 56 pages, so I'm not going to read it all here and now. But what we can do is look at the entrepreneur category here with the role. Breakthrough 95, Innovation 92, Commercial Viability 90, Startup Readiness 90, ROI potential 90. This is a good, this is a very good candidate for, um, for a startup. Let's uh, see which kind of ideas we get if we generate ideas. Okay, so we get a bit of an introduction to the study. Uh, and as we just read, it's a groundbreaking AI model designed to diagnose skin diseases with unprecedented accuracy. And here we get four ideas for startups. First of all, we get um, 
for small startups, you get two ideas. And then if you're a larger enterprise, you get two. We have two ideas here as well. So let's look at this. So we can see how it works and why this will work and then the revenue model, basically how we monetize this. So this startup will develop a user-friendly mobile application that utilizes Panda model to provide on-the-go skin assessments. Users can upload images of their skin lesions and the app will analyze the images in real time, providing instant feedback on possible conditions, risk levels, and recommendations. This is really cool. I can absolutely see that this would be a really good startup. And then how do you monetize it then? So the monetization, monetization will occur through a freemium model, offering basic assessments for free while charging for freemium fee, while charging for premium features, like detailed reports, teleconsultation, the dermatologist, yeah, in-app advert, in-app, in-app ads, and partnership with skincare brands for product recommendations. Yeah, it's also really good. So that's a really good one. This is, uh, this is a very good idea. The second one, the second idea is remote dermatology consultation platform. So this takes another approach to this. This platform will connect patients with dermatologists through a telehealth model. Yeah, so this, so this one is more of a telehealth model that we're using the, this Panderm AI model to assist in the diagnosis, to assist in, in the... We're using this Panderm AI model to assist us. Patients upload their skin images and medical history, and then of course the AI will analyze it, and then we have a virtual consultation. And on the startup end, we have experts who they can then review the findings and recommend treatments. Revenue model, again, we have subscription fees for healthcare providers to access the platform, charging patients for consultations. Yeah, pretty good. Partnership with former companies. Additionally, partnerships with companies can provide further revenue streams. Yeah, pretty good. I think I like this one better, actually. I think this is a really good idea. If we go down to the bigger... So one of the enterprise ideas for this is this business will create a comprehensive training program for medical professionals. And then the program is basically an educational program. And then we can create certifications. And then we also have interactive case studies, assessments and certifications we offer using the AI model to enhance learning outcomes. Yeah. How do we monetize it then? How do we monetize it? The revenue model will be generated through... So how do we monetize it? Revenue will be generated through course fees from participants, subscriptions for ongoing training, partnering with medical institutions for training packages, and then we also have certification programs. So my takeaway from this is for the startups of the sort of one to two people. If someone can create this app, that's gonna be a success, almost guaranteed. We also have this study, which goes pretty much hand in hand with the previous one. It's basically about analyzing images, but this one is more into the cancer realm. So the introduction says that the cancer remains a major health concern globally, with lung and colon cancer being particularly lethal. Early detection, and here I think here's the, and this is the key part here, early detection is crucial for improving survival rates, and I think this is where we come into play here. So we have, uh, the conclusion for this is that the, the fine-tuned deep learning model shows exceptional performance in classifying lung and colon cancers providing a valuable tool for pathologists to enhance early detection and treatment. If we can make this into a startup, that would be pretty sweet. If we scroll down to see 
This one is also really good for entrepreneurs, we can see. So we got Breakthrough 95, Innovation 92, Commercial Viability 90. Maybe that the adoption rate is a little bit low here, like 80. I ideally want them to be like 85 at least, maybe 90, but okay. Um, so let's go ahead and generate some startup ideas from this. So here are the startup ideas for this one. And this one works pretty much the same, it seems like. So the first idea here is again an AI powered diagnostics app. But here we're not really targeting the end user, but we're targeting healthcare professionals instead. So our startup will develop a mobile app where healthcare professionals can upload images of lung and colon tissues for immediate analysis. So basically, yeah, we have the healthcare professionals, they can upload the photos, and then we our AI model analyzes them and we get the results back. We store it in the clouds, so we store everything securely as well. Why this works is, of course, our app. It uses the study's findings, which indicate that the early detection significantly improves survival rates for cancer patients. So that's why it works, of course. And then the revenue model is we operate on a subscription model for healthcare facilities, charging a monthly fee for access to the diagnostic tools and database. And then we can generate extra revenue through partnerships with hospitals and clinics. And we can also have a freemium model here. And we can also have a freemium model as we can see here. I mean, that's pretty good. So the two previous ones were more into the biomedicine, of course. Um, but that's... We often find more examples in there because there are more studies released on biomedicine than other areas. Um, but let's see if we can find anything in economics. So we again we search for so again we search for breakthrough and innovation and startup readiness. I like this sort of this trio of stuff. I think it's pretty good. And then we search in economics, maybe, and then go back a while. So we have some pretty interesting stuff here. We've got 12 studies. I saw this one before and I kind of like this one. This one should be ripe for startup ideas. So again, we have the intro, the results, the conclusion. If we want to, we can just go down to the explain it in it. We can go down. If we want to, we can just go down to explain it like I'm five section and we see. Uh, so this study, so this study looks at how the Reserve Bank of India talks about money, how that affects the stock market. Researchers use smart computer programs to understand words, feelings, what the bank messages. Okay, we snipped it before. So what we can find here is that they found that when the bank sounds worried, it can make the stock market go down because people think the economy is weak. But when the bank talks positively about managing money, it can actually help the stock market. So that could be a really cool idea. Let's see what we can generate from this. Again, this study, it examines how the Reserve Bank of India communicates and the feelings behind them. So we have a sentiment driven investment assistant startup idea. So this startup will develop an AI powered investment assistant that analyzes all the communications from the bank. And this could probably be done for other banks as well. I think in this study, they only used the Reserve Bank of India, but you can apply this to many other banks, presumably. So users will input their investment preferences and risk tolerance, and then our assistant, it provides tailored investment recommendations based on real-time sentiment extracted from the bank's communications. And then it's we, so this aggressive, 
And this addresses the gap in the market for accessible data informed investment tools tailored to the Indian financial landscape. We could probably make this work for other areas outside of India as well, of course. And then how to monetize this is our revenue will be generated through a subscription model offering tiered pricing based on the level of service and data access. We have basic premium and enterprise plans with additional revenue streams from in-app purchases of advanced analytical reports or even personalized portfolio or even personalized portfolio reviews. So that's a pretty good one. I think we can run with this. This this should absolutely work. So here we actually focus on more B2B stuff. So our potential customers are financial institutions, hedge funds, investment firms, etc. So by employing a team of NLP experts and financial analysts, our agency here will conduct in-depth analysis of central bank communications. Our clients then will receive a comprehensive report on sentiment, trends, topic-specific impacts, and insights to inform their trading strategies. That's really good. This would absolutely be a very expensive service, so this might work. The revenue model, of course, is that it's through the revenue model is through consulting fees, retainer agreements, project based contracts. And also, our agency can, of course, offer subscription based access to our database of sentiment analytics and market forecast for our clients. So maybe that's more SaaS based, right? This could absolutely work as well. That's a really good idea. And that's a wrap. Remember, the best opportunities are the ones hiding in plain sight. If you're ready to stay ahead of the game, make sure to subscribe because I'll be back next week with even more high potential ideas. See you then.